Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tay Choo Choo and I don't know what I'm doing. I will never know what I'm doing. And that's what I'm using as an intro. Um, today we are doing our draft analysis for the Dashing Didios, didio for the Dashing Didios, in the uh, IBA VGC. Now I know I haven't been in a draft league in a, a little while, a couple months, um, but the IBA is now doing a VGC draft league and I am so excited um, because I love VGC as we all know. I'm not the best at singles, but I'm, I, I like to think I'm pretty okay at VGC um because mainly that's what i watch um a lot of the time and this is i know normally i do like a uh kind of like a slideshow video but today i'm just kind of like going in doing this because i am so tired and i just i want to explain my reasoning I have the pokemon right here and it's just gonna be a grand old time <laughs> um but yeah so uh dashing dittos actually within the draft order i was actually first it was randomized and it's snake draft so i got to go twice um when it came back to me when it started you you, you get the gist if you know what a snake draft is um but i want to talk about my picks so i'm going to so round one the first pokemon that was picked within the I, iba vgc league is um kyogre and i want to talk about kyogre um because i was debating on um, Kyogre or Groudon because I think those Pokemon are really good. It's also important to note that there was only one, you could use one restricted mon, kind of like series eight where you get one restricted mon and then the rest are kind of like gung-ho besides banned ones, but you know, you get what I mean. Um, but I picked Kyogre because I feel like Kyogre is super powerful and in debating this, I was watching a few videos, a few Wolfie Glick tier lists, stuff like that. And I think that I used a lot of Groudon. I've used Groudon. I've used Venusaur a lot and I just wanted to give a little challenge for myself. So I decided to go with Kyogre, especially with Water Spout, um, Drizzle, Origin Pulse. I think that all those moves are very strong, even if it's in the sun like I, I think that um kyogre is very powerful and it has a lot of good matchups and a lot of good partner pokemon that it can go with so that is why i chose kyogre um but if i wasn't going to choose uh, kyogre i was going to choose groudon yeah and so my next one round two um i picked the g max because you could have one g max and at first i didn't know who to pick because there aren't a lot of good water g maxes if that makes sense or at least in my opinion so I chose, uh, and thank God it wasn't picked yet, G-Max Urshifu, um, the water, the rapid strike one. Sorry, I'm looking at my computer where it has the drafts. Um, but yeah, I thought that it was a good pair up with Drizzle, especially if I can get that off. And um, I think that it's a very strong Pokemon with water and fighting. And I like it better than the single strike Urshifu, and it has its G-Max move. I haven't really used it a super ton, but I'm excited to be able to be able to use it. To be able to be able yeah <laughs> to be able to use it and just kind of utilize that drizzle and make those water moves really pack a punch um the only pokemon that i'm really gonna have a hard time with probably is going to be pokemon with storm storm dream like a uh, gastrodon but and i've used gastrodon in the past and you know having a pokemon switch into that it's not predictable predictable but you know it, it's it's kind of it's easy for me to I don't I don't know where I'm going with this but Urshifu is gonna be fun and you know I I think that with Drizzle it's gonna do a lot of damage and even without Drizzle it's still gonna do a lot of damage but yeah that's why I picked uh, Urshifu G Max and then for round three which I got to pick um, the Urshifu and this Pokemon um, because I was you know the double because first in Snake Draft um, I picked a uh, Galarian Moltres and I picked Galarian Moltres because um, back in the Ultra series where you could use two restricted Pokemon, a very, very popular duo was Yveltal and Kyogre. And, you know, thinking about it, um, a dark flying type that does, it's not like a mythical slash, I mean, I guess it's a legendary, but it's not like a legendary legendary like Kyogre, Groudon, etc. But I wanted to kind of mimic that where it's not, I'm utilizing a Pokemon that has the same typing of, it's just a good matchup where I can, you know, be able to um, utilize those dark moves and those flying moves and, you know, just to have a good time with it. And it's also, I think that with those Pokemon, I think they're probably going to be really strong, and especially um, I've seen some plays with Galarian Moltres, and I think that's a really strong Pokemon for something that's not like actually Yveltal, but it's a good like second 
pick, so that's why I picked it. <laughs> but yeah, I picked Glory and Mod Cherries. Next, I picked Metagross. And I picked Metagross because I thought that it's very... It, Metagross is a very strong Pokemon. Um, it's a very good typing. And I know a lot of the time you need a really good core, Dragon, Fairy, Steel. And that was kind of my Steel Psychic type. And I know I don't pick a lot of good Steel types a lot of the time in drafts. So I'm trying to get better at that. And I also use Picolytics to kind of help me choose what partners would be good for Kyogre and what I could do to, um, you know, kind of like, uh, do predictable switch-ins and kind of be able to pre protect my Metagross. Like, uh, if someone were to use Earth Power on it, I could, um, switch into Glorian Moltres, etc. And I think that it's good for, like, a fighting type that's also going to be worrisome for Glorian Moltres, possibly. And I think that it's a really strong Pokemon overall. It's not the weakest thing in the world. It's pretty bulky. Um, has access to a lot of good moves, and I think that, you know, I think it's a strong Pokemon. I haven't used it before, but I think that, you know, it has a lot of good potential, and that's why I picked it as number four. Sorry, I'm gonna try and go faster because I, I tend to, like, go long, and I'm trying not to. Um, but for my next pick, we got Ludicolo. Ludicolo I picked in the, back when I first started Draft League in the ABL, um, because I had, I think I had Drizzle. Something along the lines of Rain Dance or something of that sort. But, you know, Drizzle is the main ability that I'm going to be utilizing here. And Ludicolo has Swift Swim, which makes it faster in the rain. And I think that if I can get that off, I think that it's really strong. And I have a really strong... I think Ludicolo is a really good grass type, especially because it's not the weakest thing in the world. Um, like, bulkiness-wise. And I think that it could also do a lot of damage. Like, Giga Drain, Ice Beam, you know, perhaps Surf... I think that it has a lot of good potential there, and I think that it is a strong Pokemon where, you know, if I needed to, I could switch it out to take a Thunderbolt if need be, and I think that it's, it, I love the way it looks a lot, and like I said, I'm trying to util use, utilize that uh, Drizzle ability a lot, so, you know, we'll see, and as if my opponents are watching this, um, no, I will not be utilizing Drizzle, <laughs> just kidding, um, I will be, I will, I'm gonna try and mix it up with you know these different pokemon because i have a lot of pokemon in this draft that can utilize drizzle as it is and yeah so <laughs> um the next pokemon that i picked was togedemaru i like togedemaru a lot someone sniped me for raichu and the reason that i wanted these pokemon was for a uh, lightning rod so that a lot of my pokemon couldn't take damage to um electric type moves so such as kyogre you know urshifu moltres possibly Ludicolo. I think that Togedemaru is really strong in that aspect where it's going to be able to take that um, Thunderbolt and, you know, absorb it because it's Lightning Rod. And like I said, Raichu was sniped. And I think that Togedemaru has a lot of good support abilities such as Nuzzle, even Iron Head that could possibly make a Pokemon Switch, fake out stuff of that sort. And I think that even if I didn't want Lightning Rod, it still has Sturdy, which so it can get something off. I just think it's a good Pokemon overall. And I, I think that it's kind of underutilized a lot. And I'm going to try and utilize it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I picked to go tomorrow. For round seven, I had Flygon. And like I said before, I'm trying to get, like, that the core of Steel Dragon Fairy. Um, this is the dragon, and I think it's good to have a good ground-type Pokemon, because I haven't really had that, or a good dragon-type Pokemon. I mean, I've had Garchomp, sure. I've had Dracovish, sure. But this is Flygon. This guy's fast. He's going to do what he has to do. He can utilize a lot of moves and I believe in him. <laughs> I think that Flygon's really good. I think it's really cute. I think that it has a lot of potential within a draft league, even a doubles draft league where you don't really see Flygon in doubles a lot. But I think that it's good. Dragon Dance, if you get set up, it's pretty fast, pretty good. So that's why I picked Flygon. I thought that Flygon was a good, you know, a good pick. And I didn't want too many water types like uh, Dracovish for being the dragon type. So I picked Flygon, and I think Flygon's great. Um, next is Toxicroak. Toxicroak, again, when, when Drizzle is up, when Rain is up, Toxicroak is going to thrive. It has access to Fake Out. Um, when it's in the rain, it heals because it, it has dry skin. Um, if it's in drought, then I'm going to be a little worried some, but it, it has fighting moves. It has that poison it, so that I can deal with those fairies, just like steel. And it has poison so I can deal with grass types as well, because I don't really have a strong fire guy. Because, you know, <laughs> fire's overrated. Um, so that, just in case there is a fire Pokemon that wants to take out Metagross, Togedemaru, um, 
anything of that sort, um, it's gonna, you know, that's, that's kind of a good, it's, I don't have fire type to deal with grass, so I had poison. That is essentially what I'm trying to say. Can you tell that I'm tired and overworked? <laughs> anyway, um, for round nine, I picked Altaria. Altaria, again, another dragon type that I wanted to, you know, and this is getting down to the nitty gritty where, you know, it's, this is round nine. So I picked Altaria because I could, because I wanted to, because I have a plush of Swablu and what kind of trainer would I be if I didn't get Altaria? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, truth be told, um, when I was thinking about Altaria, I thought Altaria would be a fairy type, and then I realized I was mixing it up, the mega form, with its regular form, so it is dragon flying. But, you know, I think I can still utilize Altaria, and it has a lot of unseen potential a lot of the time, so hopefully I'll be able to do that. <laughs> um, and not mix up my Pokemon typings anymore. But, you know, we'll see. That's, a, that's an adventure with me. Um, but Altaria, I like Altaria. Cool. And again, it was getting down to the nitty gritty. Which round 10, I picked Shinotic, which is finally the fairy type with the core that I'm trying to go with. Um, it's also a grass type. I think that I have a lot of good Pokemon that can take out a poison type, considering it has a four times weakness to um, poison. And I think that it, you know, it has good potential. It's possible. It's very, very slow. But, you know, he's a little mushroom man that I think that I could put to use. And, you know, like I said, he's a good fairy type. I think that he has good abilities like... Um, God, I don't remember the abilities. He does have an ability that thrives in the rain, though, which is cool. So I think that I'll be able to utilize that in matches where po where people won't think that certain Pokemon are going to be brought. So that'll be awesome. <laughs> and then the last Pokemon I picked was Armaldo. Why? That's a good question. Um, I don't know. Again, getting down in the nitty gritty. It was the last tier, needed one Pokemon out of that tier. Armaldo was my pick, because why not? It's a rock Pokemon, pretty cool. I think it's Bug too. I don't remember. But you know what? He's thriving on the Dashing Dittos, and that's all you need to know. Um, he He's going to have hidden potential that you guys aren't going to see. I mean, you guys will see it, but you won't see it coming. That's what I mean by that. And so, yeah, that's it for today's video of my draft analysis for my VGC League in the IBA. And I hope that you guys enjoy the battles that are about to become. They're going to be uploaded every Saturday, but if I'm late, probably Sunday. And yeah, I'm super excited, and I hope you guys are too. I know that I do a lot of real-life content and a lot of plushy content, but I hope that you guys like this video game content side of me as well. So, yes, thank you guys so much for watching, and... We will see you in the next one. Here's to the dashing dittos getting a lot of wins. Okay, bye. Boop.